I'm doing well. Thank you for asking, sir. It's an honor to have you in my home. This hot and sour soup smells delicious. Did you make it yourself? Yes, I did. It's still cooking, but I hope it turns out well. Thank you, sir. I just do my best with what I have. Seymour, you always find a way to make the most of situations. Thank you, sir. I always try my best. No, let's see how this soup turns out. Skinner wonders if he should try to fix the soup or just toss it out. He remembers how he blamed a spell cast by Trick, or treaters for his food burning somehow. Great, now I have to deal with burnt hot and sour soup. Just what I needed today. He tries to think of fun scenarios to make the situation better. Well, maybe I should try to make a new dish out of it. <sighs> like, um, burnt hot and sour soup tacos. No, that's not going to work. I guess I'll just have to start over with the ingredients. Great, now my whole night is ruined. Oh well, I guess it could be worse. At least I didn't burn the house down this time. And I see Catopsis growing outside. That could be a great substitute for my burnt hot and sour soup. I'll have to climb out the window to obtain some of it. It might be risky, but I think it's worth a try. So how do I prepare it? I need to find a way to make it taste good. Maybe I can add some spices or herbs. Why did I burn the soup again? I swear someday I'll learn how to cook without setting off the smoke alarm. Okay, let's think this through. I have a plan and it's gonna work. Capsis -y. Hey, do you smell smoke? What? No, I don't smell anything. Yes, there's definitely smoke. We should check it out. Okay, let's go. But what if it's nothing? We won't know until we investigate. Let's go. All right, I'm coming. But try to stay calm, okay? Yeah, no problem. Wow, we should put this out before it gets bigger. Good idea. Let's get some water. Yeah, we should be careful, though. Fire can be dangerous. Let's work together and make sure it doesn't spread. Okay, let's do this. This is crazy. We need to find out how this started. Yeah, and make sure it doesn't happen again. Definitely. Let's investigate and see if there are any signs of what might have caused this. Good idea. I don't believe you. This meal doesn't look right. It's the real deal. Trust me, you just need to try it. I don't think that's true. I've had hot and sour soup before, and it never looked like this. I swear it's the same thing. You just need to learn more about our culinary traditions. I appreciate your effort, but I'm not going to eat something that doesn't look right. Can we please try to find the real hot and sour soup? Fine. Let me check with the chef. But trust me, it's the same thing. I was right. It's just prepared differently. Give it a try. I don't think so. It still doesn't look like hot and sour soup to me. You know what? Forget it. Have it your way. I'll find somewhere else to eat. Wait, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. Can we try again another time? Sure, whatever. But don't expect me to cook. I'll take care of it this time. Let's find a place that serves the real thing. And with that, Chalmers and Skinner left in search of hot and sour soup. What the hell is going on here? Look at the fire in the kitchen. <laughs> Levitation in the kitchen? How does that even work? I don't know. Maybe some trick or treaters cast a spell and now my food is burning. You expect me to believe that? Disbelief. I can't believe you would do something like this, Skinner. Defensiveness I was just trying to help, Chalmers. You don't understand. Doubt I doubt it, Skinner. Your intentions seem questionable to me. Excuse-making, it's not what it looks like, Chalmers. I have a good explanation for this. 
Goodbye. Well, I don't need to hear it. Goodbye, Skinner. Goodbye. Take care, Chalmers. I hope you find what you're looking for.